Last month, we learned about the catechism question, Will God allow our disobedience and idolatry go unpunished? The answer is no. God is righteously angry with our sins and will punish them both in this life and in the life to come. God can't stand our sins because he is so holy and cannot coexist with sin. Because of that, he has to do something about it. God has to punish his sins because he is just and fair. We deserve to be punished because we have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Ephesians 5 verses 5 says, For of this you can be sure, no immortal, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. This means that no one who is living a life that is ignoring God can escape God's anger and judgment. Because we had ignored God all of our life, which is a sin, we deserve to be punished. Even though we do have to get punished, if we believe in Jesus and accept him as our Savior, we can receive his righteousness and become right with God. Because of God's grace for us, we should praise him and battle against idolatry, disobedience, and any of our sins that God hates. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful Mother's Day. Help the mothers of this church grow their love and faith more in you. And please bless them, reminding that you are with them whenever, whenever they face challenges in this world to keep their faith. Please also bless our children's ministry. Help us fall in love with you and remind us that we were sentenced to death due to our sins, but that you came to the earth and took our places. Therefore, when we believe in you, we can have eternal life. Thank you for being executed on our behalf. Help us battle against idolatry, disobedience, and all of the sins that you hate. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.